Hello, trail travelers. We are here outside of Mount Princeton, which is that way, and St. Elmo, which is that way, and we're getting ready to go this way, which is gonna take us to Iron Chest. This should be a fun little trail. It's very short, but if you're in the area, it should be worth doing. There's, a, I think, a gatekeeper obstacle, but then there's some old ruins that we're gonna go check out. So stay right there. We'll be right back. The very first section of Iron Chest is the rock garden. And this is not your basic rock garden. These are some pretty big boulders through here, which is where the trail gets its difficulty rating. And depending on where you look, it's gonna be a rated a seven, eight. It could be a severe or high difficulty. And if you're on smaller tires, that is definitely gonna be the case. But if you are on like 37s, 38s, or bigger, you are gonna roll pretty much right over the big rocks. But if you're on smaller tires, ground clearance is going to be a very, very big deal. And you're gonna have to do some good spotting to get through and make some right lines. Otherwise, you are going to scrape. But 37s, 38s, or, or larger tires, you shouldn't have too many problems making it through the rock garden. Another thing to really be cognizant of is this is a steep trail at the beginning with these big rocks. So if there's any rain or even a little bit of snow on here, it's going to make these rocks very, very slick. You're going to slide all over the place. So take this trail when it's nice and dry. that first section was certainly some slow going but once you come out you're now on this narrow uh, kind of shelfy road here but the views here are awesome and of course you can see we did this in the fall so the colors were really popping as well but here's a nice view from the side you can just see all the way through the hills it is absolutely gorgeous up here Well, obviously you can see that this trail does rate a shelf road warning. If you don't like shelf roads, well, this is very narrow, we're a little tippy, and we're looking down the side of the hill. So, fair warning for those of you who don't like shelf roads. Now, the trail itself leads up to the Iron Chest Mine. That mine was in operation about a hundred years ago. Now, they pulled out a couple of different uh, metals, but primarily it was gold. It was an underground mine pulling gold out. It didn't last for very long and it was a rather small mine, but there's still some relics, some old buildings and things to take a look at once you get to the top.
Now, depending on how many vehicles you have, stopping at the bottom of this second set of debris is probably your best bet. Because while you can drive up a little bit further, there's not much room to turn around. So maybe one or two vehicles going up to the next little overlook. Now from that second overlook, there is a fairly tough hike up the hill to the flag. If you can make it up there, you are one tough cookie because you're hiking at over 12,000 feet above sea level. So good luck to you if you're willing to give that a try. Well, that was Iron Chest. That rock garden at the beginning is no joke, man. That thing is brutal. After that, it's not bad at all. You get up to the top, you've got those nice old uh, buildings up there. And then off in the distance on both sides, you can really see some other buildings, which is kind of cool. So we really enjoyed uh, Iron Chest. If this is something that's, you know, oh, one thing I want to mention, it's really tight. So if it's a busy weekend, I probably wouldn't recommend doing it because there's like no passing spots. There's only two places to pass people on the entire trail. So if you run into oncoming traffic, yeah, that can be a mess. Fortunately, the one place we ran into four side-by-sides was right at a spot that was wide enough for us to get by. So I don't recommend this on a busy uh, weekend. Other than that, a lot of fun, really enjoyed it. Thanks for watching everybody from Katarina and myself. Be safe out there. We'll see you on the trails.